This is Daniel Chacon. He is wanted for the murder of his ex-girlfriend, Myra Gutierrez. What is uh, shocking about this guy is his rap sheet at the Harris County District Clerk Office. How many uh, assault on a family member, uh, a protection order put against him. And he just could not stop until finally he killed someone. If you know the whereabouts of this idiot right here, please turn him in because he don't need to be running around loose anywhere. He's dangerous. Here goes the story. Welcome to Straddled Events. On this channel, we bring you the truth. Sometimes the truth is quite ugly, unbearable, and you just don't want to deal with it. But on this channel, you're going to get it anyway. You are straddling between the fence of good versus evil, right versus wrong. And on this channel, we're going to tell you to do better. Let's go. Please subscribe to the channel. It is free. Like or dislike the videos. Thanks. A woman kidnapped in Pasadena, her body found in Southeast Houston. KPRC 2's Rowan Belogan live tonight at the Pasadena Police Department with the very latest on the search. Rowan? Daniela Keith, investigators processing the vehicle the mother of four was found is found in this as we learn new information. Pasadena Police Chief saying officers responded to the former home the couple used to share together twice in September. Unfortunately, we lost our beloved mother of four, writes Jimmy Puente Jr. on the death of his mom, Myra Gutierrez. Her body found in a vehicle yesterday in Southeast Houston on Cedar Crest after she was allegedly kidnapped by her ex, Daniel Chacon. Pasadena Police Chief Josh Berger says police now searching for him. Um, was seen dragging a female um, who is the victim in this case, uh, Myra Gutierrez, uh, into a vehicle. It was her vehicle. Um, and he had a gun in his hand. The chief says Gutierrez was visiting their five-month-old daughter when police said Chacon forced her into her own vehicle. As you know, the suspect is currently charged with aggravated kidnapping. His whereabouts as of right now are unknown. A check on Chacon's criminal history shows he was previously charged with assault on a family member three times and violating a protection order, among others. None of these cases involve Myra Gutierrez. The family at this point is blaming Pasadena police for what they're saying failure to prevent this from happening. What would you want the family to know directly? Um, we took this very serious from the beginning. Um, we, again, tried to connect with our, you know, oftentimes family violence victims don't want to cooperate with police for whatever reason. And so we realized that. Berger said they referred Gutierrez to a local domestic violence advocacy group. But this case highlights how quickly these cases can evolve. Investigators and officers are invested in these cases. And when a tragedy like this strikes, we always look to see if there's anything that we could do better. Now, the chief says there's no evidence anyone may be assisting this ex-boyfriend here, but he wants to remind the public if anyone is hiding him, they will be charged. Now, the Gutierrez family planning a funeral for the mother of four. They, we have a link of their GoFundMe on our website at clicktohouston.com. Live in Pasadena, Robon Belogan, KPRC, 2 News. So yesterday at 3823 Red Bluff here in Pasadena around 9.51 a.m., um, our dispatch center received um, two calls from two witnesses. Um, regarding a uh, male assaulting a female in the parking lot. Um, the male who was later identified as Daniel Chacon, 30 years of age, um, he resides there in the apartment complex, um, was seen dragging a female um, who was the victim in this case, uh, Myra Gutierrez, uh, into a vehicle. It was her vehicle um, and he had a gun in his hand. Um, responding officers uh, quickly entered the victim's vehicle and state and national databases are stolen and the victim as missing and endangered. Um, investigators got to work pretty quick after we got the information. Um, members of the Houston Police Department located the victim's cell phone um, discarded along the roadway in the 7700 block of the South Loop East in Houston, which is over in front of the, I call it the old YMCA over there if you're familiar with the area. Um, and then a short time later, the victim's vehicle containing the deceased victim was located in the 5300 block of Cedar Crest in Houston by members of the Houston Police Department. Thank you.